hello everyone in this lecture we will discuss about the tolerances and b relevances for the gauges first we will discuss about the gauge tolerance we know that make a component with a exact dimensions is difficult due to the limitations of the manufacturing process similarly gauges also we can't able to manufacture with exact sizes in order to accommodate these dimensional variations which arises due to the limitations of the manufacturing process and the skill of the operator etc some tolerance must be allowed in the manufacture of gauges the tolerance that is allowed in the manufacturing of gauges is termed the gauge maker tolerance or simply we are calling as the gauge tolerance logically gauge tolerance should be kept as minimum as possible however this increases the gauge manufacturing cost in general gauge tolerance value of the gauge tolerance we are considering the 10% of the work tolerance next we have to see the wear relevance according to the taylor's principle during the inspection not go gauges should not enter inside the hole or it should not pass over the shaft the not go does not undergo any wear hence there is no need to provide the any wear allowance on the not go gauges similarly based on the taylor's taylor's principle go gauges are should enter the hole or go gauges just pass over the shaft so during the inspection the measuring surfaces of gauge constantly rub against the meeting surfaces of the work pieces therefore go gauges suffers wear on the measuring surfaces and it's lose their initial dimensions so hence wear allowance is provided for the go gauges to extend their service life due to this wear size of the go plug gauge decreases and the size of the go snap gauge go ring gauge or go gap gauge is increases the wear allowance is provided for the go gauges are added in a direction of opposite to wear in this regard this wear allowance is added for a plug gauge similarly have to this wear allowance is subtract for the snap gauge ring gauge or gap gauges in general the amount of the wear allowance is the 10% of the gauge tolerance so next we have to see the allocation of the these gauge tolerance and wear allowance for the hole as well as the shaft we know that one the gauges used for the check the hole dimensions we are calling as the plug gauges so here we have to see the what is the dimensions lower limit and upper limit of the go plug gauges as well as the no go plug gauges first we have to see for the go plug gauges here observe the schematic representation of the go plug gauges and the not go plug gauges for the hole the providing the gauge tolerance and wear tolerance on the go and no go plug gauges first we see the go plug gauges the lower limit of the go plug gauges it should be equal to the lower limit of the hole plus wear allowance it will give the lower limit of the go plug gauges similarly upper limit of the go plug gauges which is equal to the it is the lower limit of the hole plus wear allowance plus gauge tolerance similarly you have to see the no go plug gauges so here no go plug gauges also having the lower limit as well as the upper limit first you have see the lower limit of the no go gauges so lower limit of the no go gauges should be equal to the upper limit of the hole and the upper limit of the no go gauges which is equal to the upper limit of the hole plus gauge tolerance here for the no go gauges we are not providing the any wear allowance 
so this is schematic representation for the workshop gauges for the inspection gauges that is the different concept in general exam point of view we have to discuss only for the workshop gauges similarly you have to see the gauge design for the shaft we know that one the gauges using for the shaft we are calling as the snap gauges so first you have to see the go snap gauges so this is the schematic representation of the workshop gauges for the go gauges and the no go gauges for the shop here i have to see the first you have to go for the go snap gauges so go snap gauges is the upper limit of the shop minus wear allowance see here go snap gauges having the two limits that is the upper limit and the lower limit first you have to see the upper limit of the go gauges go snap gauges that is the upper limit of the shop minus this wear allowance similarly go snap gauges lower limit so lower limit equal to the upper limit of the shaft minus this wear allowance minus this ka stock similarly you have to see the no go snap gauges here no snow no go snap gauges also having the upper limit as well as the lower limit so this is the upper limit and this is the lower limit so in this schematic we have to observe that one the upper limit of the no go snap gauges which is equal to the lower limit of the shaft and the lower limit of the no go snap gauge which is equal to the lower limit of the shaft minus this gauge stock so this is schematic representation for the workshop gauges so thank you very much